Well, I'm here in Brighton, and there is all manner of ruckus going on out there. I don't know what it is yet, but we're going to go find out. You, you want to come? Come on, let's go. Let's, let's go see what it is. Well, I'm here in Brighton at the now famed Burning of the Clock Festival. This wonderful gathering is a celebration of new beginnings, and boy, are you in for a real treat. The parade is making its way down, and soon, just to the, to, to the left of the pier, the, 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 a great bonfire will, 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 will take place. But a little bit about, well, what are they burning anyway? It's a burning of the clock. And so you saw the people with the little lanterns, the little candles inside those lanterns, um, is, is, is a marker of the passage of time. Isn't it fabulous? Don't I sound like I know what I'm talking about? <laughs> anyway, let's go have a look, okay? All right, let's go. Well, if you want an answer, you gotta go to the right place. And who, who better than an officer of the law? Hello there, my oh, friend. Yeah. Really sees a really happy crowd, huh? Yeah, well, yeah, definitely. It's one of my favorite events, actually, to police, because there's, it's just everyone's really nice, everyone's really friendly, everyone wants to have a good time. Wonderful. And um, yeah, it's one of my favorite events to police in, in, throughout the year. So. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, thanks for spending the time with me. And I hope, I know you, you're, I know you kind of work it, but have fun too. No, I am, I'm <laughs> enjoying it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Well, it looks like the festivities are in full swing, so I'm going to go see if I can grab one of the marchers to stop and chat with me. So I'm with two fabulous people from this wonderful parade. So tell me, what is this all about and what are you carrying? Uh, we're carrying homemade lanterns. And it's about the solstice, it's about getting rid of the last year, bringing in the new year. It's a pagan ritual, I think. Oh, that's wonderful. So it's just community, yeah. you know, everyone it's together. The shortest day of the year, yeah. the longest the night, and then we're celebrating like that being over and a new beginning. It's like a new year. That's wonderful, yeah. like a new, like a new beginning. Yeah. That's wonderful. <laughs> As I moved toward the seafront, I got a better idea of the scale and creativity of some of these magnificent structures, and I wanted to see who was putting their hearts and souls into bringing these huge lanterns to life. This is probably the most amazing thing I've seen tonight. Did Thank you, you. Did you create this? Well, with, with my uh, friend Mark, yeah, between yeah. the two of us we made it, yes. And you're James? With, I'm James, and that's Mark. Wonderful. What, that's, what was the inspiration? Uh, the inspiration was something that it's the, the theme for the whole night is wild, <laughs> and so we were looking for wild things, and it was something that kind of fitted the form of the, of the rickshaw as well, so. Amazing. So what's going on the bonfire? And uh, most of it, we, we're going to keep the head though, we've got to keep the head. The head's going to hang on the wall at home. Ah, that's but perfect. I'm not allowed to keep the rest, Wonderful. sadly. And did you have a hand in this too? Yeah. Oh, that's good. What part did you make? I made the, the back right leg. You did? <laughs> I, I wonderful, wonderful. Well, congratulations. Thank it's you very much. Wonderful. Thank you. Now we're making our way down to the seafront where a huge effigy called Wildeman, in honor of this year's theme, The Wild, is soon to be set alight. But then I ran into, of all people, the event's producer, Robert Batson from Same Sky Productions. From your perspective, what is this thing really about, in your view? I like to think of it as kind of battling time. You know, it's on the, it's on the, long, uh, the longest night of the year, darkest day of the year and we just do all these lights, this big fire. We're like, no, we can reclaim a bit of our time. You know, no matter what age you are, if you're a kid, if you're older, uh, no matter what's your obsession in life, you can just get a little bit back of your time. I was so touched at the end, the, the idea of, the, of people putting things in the little lanterns. Yeah. And that's, a, that's a wonderful sentiment. Yeah. People put their wishes, they think, say goodbye to 2022. It's, it's whatever they want it to be. And I think because it's so open, they can allow that. Now, of course, someone was telling me that, uh, who lives down here, say, so, you know, we people here in Sussex, we like to do, we like to burn things up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> there's some, some, some heritage pagan, beyond yeah. this, isn't there? Isn't it, so, some even say there's some pagan ritual a bit, activity. Yeah. I think we like, to, we like to hint at that, you know, especially with the wilderness. We don't, we don't go full pagan, not, and it is on the solstice, <laughs> but you know, we're not, we're, we wear, you know, quite coyly, not like um, Lewis Bonfire, another big uh, fire night. They know what they're about. Um, <laughs> God bless them. They're really, it's a good event too. It's a wonderful. I'm so happy that we've been able to connect with you Me on too. this. Really congratulations on a spectacular event. Thanks so much. We're going to start fundraising for next year too. So if you know anyone who doesn't happen, happen to contribute, uh, yeah, please, same, same sky. You know, help we can get. Well, so there you have it. They're going to burn the whole thing. <laughs> Thank you.
the exuberance, the kind-heartedness, this is the creativity of this. It's just so absolutely fantastic. What a spirit. I'm so happy to be part of this.